The topic right now is AI. The future, the use cases, the limitations, the image generation, the list goes on. But for everyday consumers like you and me, at the center of this is usually ChatGPT. When you look around at who's getting most excited about AI, it's the software engineers who are gonna use this for coding or the creatives who are doing image generation, but I don't code for a living and outside of a few thumbnails for this channel, I haven't really leveraged the image generation all that much. That said, I found some use cases that have made ChatGPT very important and incorporated in my life and made things less anxious, more efficient and overall better. Let's cover the three best ways I use ChatGPT to improve my work and my life. The first one is rating. ChatGPT has plenty of limitations, but one thing it's pretty good at is being objective at grading things. So what I started doing a couple months ago is I would draft an email and normally I might have my wife look at it or I would just stew over it for a while, but now I send it to ChatGPT and I ask it for a very critical rating one through 10. I put in a prompt like rate this email one through 10 with a small range to the tens place and be very critical. I think you can look at these ratings almost like school. So an 8.5, B, B plus is pretty good. When you start getting down into the sevens or the mid sevens, you're sending like a C email and it might need to be improved. If you're like me, one of the first things you're thinking if you get like a seven or a seven five is make this a 10. Why don't I only send 10 emails? But that is where there are still some limitations because when you ask ChatGPT to do that, what comes back is sterile. It doesn't have a nice, I mean, really like human tone to it. So I have found that the best way to do this is if you're in the seven to 7.5 range, look at ChatGPT's feedback, make a couple tweaks, and then really use it to get a half point better or a full point better over a few iterations. There is one warning, one thing that you should look out for if you're gonna do this, and it's that ChatGPT can sometimes miss like subtle flow things. So if you put in your email, let's go out to your birthday, instead of let's go out for your birthday, that may not get flagged in the return response. So you still wanna proofread everything you're sending, obviously, but for big stuff, you know, or even like introductions of paragraphs or whatever, ChatGPT is going to be incredibly, incredibly helpful. The next most valuable use case for me is transcribing images. And we can actually piggyback off the example above. Let's say you wanted to grade your response and it's like a seven out of 10, but you think that the context, the first email that you received is important because you're responding to somebody. Instead of typing all of that out or copying and pasting it, you can go into your email, you can screenshot like the whole email thread post it into ChatGPT, including your draft. Like in Gmail, your draft just comes up at the bottom. So you can post all of that into ChatGPT and then it'll have the context for you to make your response and that could change its rating for you. So that's one use case of using images. You can just screenshot what's going on and give the context to ChatGPT. Another way that this comes in handy, let's say there's a lot of data that you wanna put into Excel. Maybe you're on a company's website and you wanna pull down like, historical financials for a long period of time. You could either copy and paste that and hope that it works in Microsoft Excel, or you could take a screenshot of this image and you can give it to ChatGPT and say, put this into a table that I can download. I did a video on fantasy football odds. And in that I said that DraftKings doesn't allow you to just hover copy and paste odds. It's really unstructured data, they protect it. What you can do is you can kind of zoom out put as much data into the frame as possible, screenshot it, throw it into ChatGPT, and now you have yourself a table. Pro move is you can upload like multiple screenshots at once and it'll just consolidate all of those screenshots into a table. Transcribing this type of information should be easy, but sometimes it's not. And so for me, the ability to do it really quickly is very nice and I find myself using it quite a bit. Keep in mind I'm doing the base cases for this the most transactional stuff, but the sky's the limit when you build on top of this. It can transcribe images. Okay, if you're building your website, go to the top 20 CPG companies that are like yours, screenshot those images, paste five to 10 or whatever the limit is into ChatGPT. It'll learn the headlines and then say something like, craft a headline for me based on this voice, right? So you can do a ton of things knowing that this chat is capable of just interpreting the images that are coming through. Finally, the last thing I use ChatGPT for, and maybe you're using it similarly by now, is for actual recommendations. I usually Google things for recommendations. How long do you softball an egg? How do you get rid of fruit flies? How much water do you water a newly planted tree? All this sort of stuff. And it's frustrating because Google would send back a ton of search results, maybe the one best result, but then I would have to click into it and I would like do my own research on it. 
And all I want here, it's like a relatively low stakes recommendation. All I want is someone to prescribe what I do, the recipe, the formula, whatever. So I'm using ChatGPT a ton for that. I also use it for like basic toddler questions, right? How much should a toddler eat in a meal? Yes, I understand you need to ask a pediatrician for very serious stuff or you need to consult a doctor, but there is this gray area between needing to consult a doctor and just needing some basic information that is easier to get than going to try and sort through all the different um, results on Google. So I find myself using ChatGPT constantly for questions, for recommendations, for prescriptions, like in terms of formulas, and really just sanity checking. Regardless of what your profession is, I would love to hear how you are using ChatGPT, what the biggest hack is. So like the rating email hack, that's just a creative prompt that can become very valuable. But would love to hear from you what you found to be super helpful and leave it in the comments. I usually respond to most of this stuff. Other than that, good luck with everything. Hope you found this helpful and I look forward to seeing you in the next one.